hear people complaining about Jake Paul. I hear people saying there ain't nothing wrong with Jake Paul. I hear people complaining about the state of boxing, you know, how it ain't no good fights on, it's crappy fights. I'm just, you know, I'm here to give some uh, neighborly advice in the box community. You come to the point where you stream the fight, you stop paying for the fights, but they still kind of give, well, kind of, they still give you crappy fights. It's time, it's time to stop paying the ultimate price, which is your attention and, and giving your time. Like I told y'all, you got to pay attention, right? And once you stop paying attention, nobody else going to talk about it. There's no more, I can't think of another group of fans that's more disrespected than hardcore boxing fans. You know? And why wouldn't they disrespect hardcore boxing fans and purists and all that? Because no matter how good or bad the show is, the headline is... We act like we ain't got shit else to do on the weekend. And we keep coming back like $2 hoes for the sorriest cars, for the smallest car. I see people getting excited about the TFM Lopez and Pedraza car. I don't give a flying hell. Now, the prospects on the undercard, I know they ain't closed. I don't think so. I know the prospects on the undercard is very, you know, is very intriguing. You know, they're very intriguing. So I ain't knocking that. Keyshawn Davis, Shushu. Uh, Carrington, uh, you keep going, going on and on and on, but you know, once you stop, you talking about Derek Chisora, Tyson Fury. Once you stop paying attention, and, and you know, you without paying attention, you're not going to talk about it unless it's some controversy, you know, spearheaded by the fight. Once you stop talking about it, then they start making what you want to hear, what you want to see. Right, yeah, but my bad, man. We celebrate Miles' birthday tonight. It's Halloween, so we. I had to stop and get him some stuff. I forgot to get some baking soda so I could wash him. I usually eat white, so I put. I think one time I made. I think I uh, he got sprayed by a skunk. So it's. Uh, I think the remedy is no water when they get sprayed by skunks. You don't do the tomato paste. It is. I forget the formula. If you got a long haired dog, you got to heat this up. It's like some peroxide, a tea book, a, te a teaspoon, I believe, of dish liquid. And some baking soda. Just look up the particular. You do not put them in water. You mix that up, put them in the tub with no water, put it, rub it in their fur, and that get rid of the smell. Now, if you got a long hair dog, or you want it to be more potent, you heat it up in the microwave first, then you rub, then you rub it in. But uh, yeah, we celebrate this birthday. Shout out to Gary Benson too for donating to the channel. Salute, bro. Um, as always. So, um, but like I was saying, stop paying attention. You know, that's the remedy like Hennessy. We didn't stream and they still didn't gave us BS. I saw Tyson Fury get mad at the interviewer for criticizing the Jazora fight. And you, you know, I would have just hung up on him. I wouldn't have been sitting there laugh, played it off. I'd cut his ass off. You ain't Michael Jordan. You know, you ain't LeBron James. I mean, if you were, you're not going to talk to me like you stupid. You made that fight. You know that fight is hogwash. It is what it is. What you expect? You, you can be talking your shit, but you're not going to talk it while I'm sitting on the line. It's just, you know, they, they treat the media any type of way. They treat the fans any type of way. You know, you know in a, in a, in a sport that's dying, and, you know, you got to understand, most of the hardcore boxing fans, you know, they older. Most of the peers boxing fans, they old as hell. So, at the end of the day, if you ain't getting what you want. You ain't going to take what you want. Now, you got to... You got a, a section of boxing fans who ain't been watching boxing a long time who talk about the business of boxing, but y'all ain't been watching boxing for no time. Ten years watching boxing is nothing, especially when you can't comprehend. I mean, you got people like Blood Boxing who've been watching boxing. For, I mean, like, he's been watching boxing for decades. So have I. I've been watching since the 90s. You know what I'm saying? So I've been watching this sport for, uh, for a very long time. You know, and they continue to kind of give you BS and say, well, y'all going to take it. And uh, remember Leonard Ellaby, what's the old girl uh, he did the interview with? I got it on my Facebook channel, my Facebook page, where um, she said the fans want to see Crawford and Spence. He said, what fans? The fans don't want to see that. She's like, ha, 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 the fans do. What fans want to see it? At the end of the day, just like he said, what fans want to see it? Tired of that pothole tearing me up. Almost told me up today, but I looked out for it. But 
But like he said, they think we like a Tyler. You ever seen a Tyler bed with something? Like, you don't even like sour cream and onion chips, nigga. He's like, yeah, you're right. I don't like them. <laughs> I'm like, watch Paw Patrol, you know? So that's kind of how, how they think of us. Like some $2 holes that you're going to smack up and down and we're going to take with you with your dishing out because we ain't got no other choice or whatever the situation may be. At this point, y'all just got to stop paying attention and stop talking about it. Because once you start talking about it then, it, then it starts to die. As long as you talk about it, you still paying attention. You still breathing, you know, life into the topic. You know what I'm saying? So you still giving, you still validating it by talking about it. That's why I'm talking about Jake. Why I didn't watch that shit, dude. Like, yeah, better things to do with my life than watch Jake Paul. I'm sorry. And, and then turn around and complain about it. Then you got people that just say, well, he's good for boxing. He's good in the eyes on the sport. Whatever, whatever, wherever side of the fence you stand on, you can't stand with Jake Paul and then stand on being a real boxing fan. I'm sorry. You just a fiend for boxing. You would just take anything at this point. And I, I've been past that, dude. Team stream didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't hurt them at all. So at this point, you know, I'm just stop talking about stuff that I have zero interest in. Straight up and down. I'ma just stop talking about it. They give a fight and I don't really care about the fight, then I'm not gonna talk about it. It's as simple as I'm not gonna sit here and complain and say, well, you know, I ain't gonna talk about Jake Paul no more. I ain't gonna talk about Fury Chisor no more. This is my last time you've been speaking on then the fight come on, everybody, you know, and then my favorite trick is everybody sit here, they they shit on the fighter, or you know, whatever, and then the fight come up, and then, you know, when nobody talk about the fight come fight week, come come after the fight on Saturday or Friday or Sunday, whenever they doing these fights, everybody got a reaction video. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody started talking about the fight. Like I said before, when Fred was turning around and he pushed all this, this narrative that he be pushing, you know what I'm saying? You know, this pro-black narrative and he niggas supposed to be boxing fans, but he turned around and went to go support Triple G Violence versus Violence Montrosian and them clowns on the other side of the street uh, started justifying him going to support Triple G and Violence Montrosian. The message is, 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 is colluded, it's, confu it's, it's not even confusing. You sitting on both sides of the pendulum, bro. How are we gonna complain about a product and then support about the support the product that we complaining about? Niggas complain about Diddy Garcia and Raw Saka. Niggas still watch the fight. How are we sitting on both sides of the of the gun line, bro? Like Kanye West sitting on both sides of the line. You pro-black or you anti-black? There's no one foot on one side or I'm tiptoeing the line. Which one are you, bro? This ain't one of the times where you can, this ain't a topic that you can be fluid on. Either you want better boxing, you want what boxing used to be like, right? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, you, 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 you know, a lot of these dudes don't know what good boxing was. They wasn't around, dude. And it's always been ducking, it's always been politics, but it's never been this amount of failure rate in boxing to get the fights that we want to see done. It's never, it's never been at a, a that failure rate, bro. And people just say, well, we just got to make do with what we got. And like, no, y'all don't have no life, bro. Like, the old, but life, you know, I understand if you're a fighter, you know what I'm saying? You're a media man, you've been doing this a long time. Kevin Ioli even switch it up. He don't just talk about boxing, dude. He can talk about hockey, basketball, MMA. You know what I'm saying? He even switch it up. Like, for your life to result, revolve around... You know, and you can't take a stand versus one. Even even niggas that hate Terrence Crawford, he fought off region. They still gonna watch and talk about it. They still, they still. And I ain't quite, well, I ain't that thirsty for boxing. If I don't like a fight, I'm not gonna talk about it, bro. That's where I'm. At. I'm not that thirsty for boxing, and I'm not that thirsty for for money in boxing. I ain't starting my page to to make money off boxing. I, I started my page for a fucking passion, bro. 
and if boxing was cranking like it was supposed to crank in, dude, I'd never have to talk about nothing else on the on the, on, the, on the page or be uh, preparing to transition into to rebrand again and do something completely totally different. And if you like boxing and you don't like where I'm going, I don't mind if you want sub. I don't mind. I understand for sure. When the time come, I you know shit appreciate your viewership. I definitely do, but hey, I, I get it. But it's got to this bad where y'all are like some fiends, bro. Like cigarette smokers and shit. Cigarette smokers and dope fiends ain't too different, dude. Especially chronic, chronic super uh, cigarette smokers, dude. Can't go an hour without a hit. Y'all can't take a stand for one night, bro. Y I mean, y'all can't even go to the club or to the bar. I mean, y'all can't even go get with some chicken, chicken heads or... Uh, can't take the wife or the girl or the kids, you know, around the corner, you know, or nothing like that. But then again, a lot of y'all niggas the ones y'all streaming the fight because y'all can't afford it. The same ones on the gun line talk about we gotta we gotta get these fighters paid, man. All them niggas be the main ones streaming it. Deontay Water, the main ones grabbing access, allow niggas to make money off his name, all that type of stuff. They be the main niggas streaming your shit, nigga. No kizzy. They be the same ones streaming your junk. So a lot of these dudes sitting on both sides of the gun line, sitting both so sitting on both sides of the message, bro. And it's confusing. How can Martin Luther King be pro-black or Michael Max be pro-black and he up there with the clan trying to tell y'all, yo, they just gotta understand. You guys gotta understand, man. They really got good intentions, but they out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, God, oh, the message, you know, it don't fit. I will use that biggie line, but I'm not about to use that line. <laughs> I don't want the alphabet boys after me or whatever they consider themselves. I'm good. Y'all just like Ike and Tina. Ike, I love you, Ike. I still love you, Ike. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know? So what side, what side we, we sitting on, dude? You know? The streaming boycott didn't work. At this time, dude, if they not, if they not giving you a, uh, a digestible or a solid viewership, y'all just keep taking it, they gonna keep doing it. If, if people stop talking about it, bruh, stop tweeting about it, you know, for, for one night, you know what I'm saying? And stop talking, don't tweet about it. But these dudes is, is, is suckers, bro. They suckers for money. It ain't that they're a sucker for the sport of boxing because if they were suckers for the sport of boxing and they was really down for the sport of boxing, they, they, they would be objective, bro. Their opinion couldn't be bought. Their opinion couldn't be swayed. They call a spade a spade. You know, and y'all, and we the smallest fan base in all the sports, bro. Any major sport in America, boxing the smallest. Behind MMA. Shit, behind karate, kickboxing probably. Nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to make sure, you know what I'm saying? You get into learn play. Smallest. And like I said, I'm taking a stand, dude. I'm not talking. I'm not watching and talking about some shit. I don't care about. It. I'm not just gonna be shitting on these fights or streaming and doing y'all to just. I'm, I'm past doing the just a, a justice because for one, y'all don't support niggas enough for me to sit there and watch something that I don't want to watch. Y'all don't support enough, and that's financially sharing the videos, thumbs and up, commenting, uh, sharing it on social media. Y'all don't do. Y'all don't do enough, bro at all for me to be providing a service that I really don't want to sit through come on that's like going through all that for a woman and she ain't worth it I mean you, you know Punani a dime a dozen you feel me that's just why I sit on the gun line sus but hey let me know what you girls and guys think of something that's sitting on my mind thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel next subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notifications increase your chance of notifications we go live drop video for Nancy. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, App Podcast, Google Podcasts. Peace.